Hi, my name is Garrett Faircloth. I'd like to talk to you about another new feature in Oracle R12 Financials, or more specifically, control accounts. This tutorial is part of a series of several videos that dive into Oracle R12's new features. Additional videos can be found on IT Convergence's website, as well as on our YouTube channel. Within Oracle R12.1.3, you can create control accounts for use in the Oracle Accounts Payables, Accounts Receivables, and General Ledger. One of the most important changes within Oracle R12 is the third-party control account feature located in the Oracle eBusiness Suite. This feature lets organizations maintain detailed balances by third parties for an account co-combination. Subledger accounting verifies the valid third-party information. It also verifies that it is associated with the journal line and if it matches a third-party control account. If it is not, then Subledger accounting rejects the journal line. This process helps maintain a system of checks and balances between different modules. The steps are quite simple. Log into the General Ledger Superuser, navigate to the Value Set form, and find the value set attached to the Natural Account segment of your charts of accounts. Next, navigate to the account you wish to assign as a control account. In this example, we are using 1210, the Accounts Receivable Account. Oracle provides us with the following five options. Customer, which means journals can only come from Oracle receivables as a source. No, which means no restriction as a usage. Restrict manual journals, which are journals cannot be created from manual journal screen. Supplier, which are journals that can only come from Oracle payables as a source. Or yes, which are journals that come only from account receivables or account payables as a source. Now choose an option based on the following information. To test this, log out of the general ledger and back in for the control account to take effect. Navigate to the Enter Journal screen and try to enter a journal line using the control account. You can run a second test by logging into Oracle Receivables. On behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to check out our many Oracle-related workshops at www.itconvergence.com workshops.